Okay, hi everyone. So today I'm going to be blowing out our hair. We're going to be styling our hair. As you come in, give us a thumbs up and um, let us know where you're connecting from. And I'll tell you what I did. This is our hair. I just put it like this. Our hair is quite short. This is how our hair looks like. This is my niece, my lovely niece. Um, and um, we sh I shampooed our hair. The what I use to shampoo our hair, this we've used it so much it has come off. But this is the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Shampoo. It's a very good clarifying shampoo. You can see I've used it. It's nearly finished. And I clarified her hair because she went swimming yesterday with our cousins. You all know our cousins. And um, after doing that, after clarifying her hair, then I used a deep conditioner. And the deep conditioner that I used was this one which is the same one that i use with my kids the shade cream of nature as you come in please give us a thumbs up thank you for the thumbs up thank you guys you guys have been wanting me to do somebody's hair who is short hair and i finally was blessed to have my sweetie hair that i could do our hair so uh what else so we deep conditioned our hair for 30 minutes using the heated cap everything that i'm showing you you can find it on our discovery natural shop on amazon so go and follow that shop click on that link thank you thank you for the hearts so now what i'm going to do now is i want to moisturize our hair i've already started so i took this section so i have a section like this so let me see if i can zoom it in so that you all can see her better okay so I'm just taking a section like this. So this is one section. I've already moisturized the hair. So I just take one section like this. It doesn't have to be a clean path. So, but working in section helps a lot when you're going to blow out the hair. Do you have to blow out the hair when you're going to style it? You don't have to. Um, blowing it out just gives it more stretch and reduces the, uh, the tension, reduces breakage if you blow it out. Now we're using the Revair. I'm going to moisturize our hair with a leave-in conditioner. Now, if you have any question, please drop your question in the comment area. I will answer them after this live. The leave-in conditioner I'm use, using is the Cream of Nature Pure Honey. I'm using the same line of products. And I've already put some on this, so I'm not going to put it again. So now I'm just going to section the hair into three sections. So that when it's time to blow it out, it will be easier for me to work with. I'm just sectioning like this. I'm going to do it again, do it another section like that. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday. <laughs> this live, this is a live. So if you're going to come on here and say, oh, get to the point. This is a live. Just want to let you know our scalp is very clean. So this is going to be a long life. So just get your coffee. If you're washing your hair, you can quickly shampoo your hair and then join us. Um, it's very important when you're caring for your hair to use a moisturizing deep conditioner. So I'm just going to take our hair again on this side and I'll just section another, do another section with my cutting comb. So even if you want to know where to find this cutting comb, if you go to my Amazon, uh, my Discovery Natural shop, you click on the hair tool section, you will be able to find it, right? Now, the thing is that this shampoo, this, uh, what do you call it? The blow dryer I'm using, I'm going to paste the link to the blow dryer. I'm going to, I just pasted the link in the comment area. That blow dryer, there's a discount code if you use my link. So just take a deep conditioner, um, take a leave-in conditioner. This is the leave-in conditioner. What is the job of a leave-in conditioner? It keeps the hair soft, adds moisture to the hair. So this is how I'm moisturizing the hair. You can see I'm concentrating it to the ends of the hair. If you are someone that your hair tends to get dry really easily, use a leave-in conditioner that has oils as very good moisturizing ingredients and i'm just going to take my hand and i'm using my finger to just remove any product build up any shaded hair from it and i'm just working my fingers through 
and then I'm going to detangle her hair. And we're using this detangling comb. You can also find the detangling comb in the hair tool section of our. You see how soft her hair is? Her hair is so soft and it feels so good. So she has beautiful, beautiful 4C hair. So her hair is 4C. She has a little bit of curl pattern, but it's not so heavily, um, it's not super defined. Just have a few curl pattern here and there. Okay. Take this. We're just going to twist it up like that. So I should give you my phone to see if people are asking questions and then we can answer them. Let me go and get my other phone okay. and then you can help me. So this is the, <laughs> the commentary. So if you see any questions that people are asking, let me do this. Okay, so scroll through. I'm putting her to work. <laughs> like if you're with Auntie. So do you see anybody asking any questions? She's going to be able to deal with gray hair. How to deal with gray hair. Okay, so a couple of things. Um, I do have a link that I'll share with you. Uh, there's a shampoo that I know a lady that has gray hair. She actually uses that shampoo. I think it's called Mason's 57 or something of that sort. It works really well for her. If you have a lot of gray hair and you're like, oh, I want to color it. Some people also use henna to color their gray hair. So some people use henna and it works for them. Um, gray hair, if you're like, oh, I want to stop gray hair. Gray hair is natural. It's just something that happens as you get older. I don't know of a way to totally stop, totally stop gray hair from coming out, but you can slow it down, um, like using um, uh, molasses. I consume molasses once in a while, <laughs> and I feel that somebody was saying that oh, they feel that it helps reduce grain in the hair. So I know you guys can see how short our hair is. See that? yeah so just sectioning creating sections as i go okay i'm gonna take some leave-in conditioner don't need too much always use leave-in conditioner if you're someone that you struggle with so do you see any other question no if you're someone that you struggle with your hair being dry and hard after you wash it you want to use a leave-in conditioner. You see how I'm applying it to the hair. I apply it generously to the ends. Work it through. And then get your detangling comb. And comb through. Then you can twist up. Like that. And this is just to twist. And I think you need you need a trim, girl. <laughs> you want me to trim your hair? Yes or no? How much? How much? I don't know why. It's like they, they're always afraid to trim hair. I don't know why. You'll be so afraid to trim your hair. You don't know that if you trim your hair, it helps reduce split end and breakage. Okay. You don't know. Our auntie is not going to take a lot. <laughs> I'm not scissors happy. Maybe just a little bit. Just to trim it. Get it to an healthy um, position. She's so tall. Look at me. Look at me standing on my tippy toe. <laughs> oh my God. Did you lift up the chair? No. Okay. She just tall. <laughs> I'm a short auntie. I'm a very short auntie. So you don't want to put, don't use too much. So this one is uh, enough. I'm gonna just take this and just put it on the other part of our hair. Yeah, because I took too much of that. So just take your hand, put it on the ends, walk it through. Okay, put some at the edges, work it through. You can see I'm not putting oils. There are a lot of oils in this product. I'm making sure I squeeze the product in. And our hair is, I can tell it's high porosity. She has high porosity hair. Her hair just, if you add low porosity hair, 
the product will just sit on her hair. She has very healthy hair, um, but of course you can see, you can see she needs a trim. Girl, you need a trim. I'm just gonna ask your mom. <laughs> I'm just gonna ask my sister a lot. Did you guys see the video? So I have a channel called Discovery Natural. If this is your first time watching, so please go patronize our channel. Um, I do a lot of things, uh, questions that you have about anything like gray hair, all that stuff, you'll be able to find it on Discovery Natural channel also. So, yeah. So, but, so tell them, what is your routine? Do you have a hair routine? No. She doesn't have a hair routine because you're always busy, right? Yeah. So she is from UK. Yeah. So what, I know you guys don't do great. Are you ready for school? Yeah. To start off? But I don't get back till September. You don't get back till September. So, um, so for school, what do you wear? You wear your own braids? Yeah, I usually get box braids for my hair. Oh, okay. Okay. What other styles do you wear? <laughs> box braids. Just box braids? <laughs> box braids. All the time? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Done. Why do you wear box braids all the time? It's easy to maintain. Okay. Okay. So it's easier for her to maintain. She looks so much like my youngest, my oldest daughter. <laughs> She's so gorgeous. We went to different places, went to see one of my neighbors and my neighbor's husband, he actually thought it was Eniola. <laughs> oh my gosh, she actually thought it was Eniola. And we had to say, no, it's not Eniola. This is my niece, Ibuxi. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. But overall, she has been wearing wigs, playing around with wigs, having fun with wigs. Yeah. Yeah. So, what do you, you like the convenience of wearing wigs? Just slap it on. Yeah. You don't have to do your hair. Yeah, and it protects my hair because they're in corner. Yeah. So, she, so what we're going to do today, because she still has a couple more weeks of vacation, so I'm going to conroe her hair going all the way back. Somebody has been asking for a video on how to Congo hair going back. So we're going to do that. But of course, I'm still going to stretch our hair with the Revere. But me doing it like this makes it so much easy for me to um, blow it out. And also by me putting leave-in conditioner, I know that our hair has proper moisture before I add any form of heat. Now the Revere is very easy to, um, it, the Revere doesn't cause, um, what do you call it, heat damage. Okay, turn it this way. Okay. The Revere doesn't cause heat damage, but um, I still use a heat protectant. And the Revere is hot, is a, a little bit loud, so I'll just warn you guys, when I start using it, you, you'll know. <laughs> you shall know. Mm -hmm. Ooh, my glasses. You shall know. So I just doing this. Adding the conditioner. If you notice, see, I add it to the ends of the hair, and I walk it through. And if I feel that I need some more, I just add a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Okay, and I walk it through. Okay, in the middle also, then just pull it through like that, okay, and then I get my comb and just detangle the hair, like that, turn your head like that, okay, it's gonna, so when you comb the hair, you start off at the ends and you comb through to the root, so never start combing from the root. You just start off from the ends and you come to the root. Okay, and you come through. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. So, okay, come through. So now I can section, put it two sections so that I'll be able to blow it out like that. Mm -hmm. So um, in Texas, it's tax-free day. 
starting today for back to school so if you guys are living in texas and you've not done your back to school shopping do it this weekend because this weekend you don't pay taxes which is quite exciting save a lot of money blah 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 so this is the weekend when i go buy shoes because if you know shoes for kids especially when they're this age high school kids is not cheap at all Okay, so we're done. We're down to this section. I'm just gonna get more living conditioner. This is what we're using for those that are just coming in. Click on that follow discovery natural link so that you can be able to see all the products we're using. You can go to the living conditioner section and see the living conditioner we're using. So I'm just making sure I have it all in here. These are my fingers. Is it locked so you're making for her? No, it's not locks. I'm gonna braid her hair, curl her hair going back. Um, but I wanna blow out her hair, so that's why I'm putting her hair into sections so that it's easy for me to work with when I'm blowing it out. I'm not doing locks for her. So would you ever lock your hair? I don't think so. You don't think so? Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. Okay, okay, okay. Write this into. Have you ever locked your hair? No. <laughs> I do too many things. If I lock my hair, I'll be limited yeah. as to what kind of videos I can do. And then um, with my kids getting older and doing their own thing, I want to. And, and I love doing different things with my hair. Even though lately I've been quite lazy with my hair. Quite lazy. Okay, so this is the last one. So right now our hair is probably moisturized. So the next thing we want to do is just to blow it out. And to blow it out, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to use the Revere. So let me tell you a little bit about the Revere. This is what the Revere looks like. Okay. And it has a wand holder right here. So we're going to turn it on. But before then, I'm going to spray heat protectant to our hair. Okay. So just take the heat protectant. And I always use the heat protectant and apply it to our hair. Even though the Revere doesn't um, damage hair or whatever, I still use the heat protectant regardless. Okay. So I've used the heat protectant in our hair. I'm gonna plug it in. So you guys, it might be a little bit loud. So just bear with me. Just watch what I'm doing. Okay. okay. So you take the wand and the Revere as um, a setting right over here. So you can turn it on. Okay. And the timer is at six.
okay so we are done blowing out our hair and yeah you need a trim my dear see see i'm not gonna trim my hair if she says she doesn't want me to trim my hair because you know teenagers <laughs> but anyway so i'm gonna show you what our hair looks like after we use the reveal you guys see she has really really healthy hair any comments <laughs> she has really really healthy hair her scalp is really really nice but as i'm showing you she does have split ends right there but yeah it's up to her okay i will advise but <laughs> okay so the river does a good job giving it a blow i didn't want to blow it's where it's like so bone straight but you can kind of see it this actually gives it a blowout look that i can work with so at least it gives it a little bit of a stretch gives her hair a little bit of a stretch and stuff so do this and her hair still feels really nice and moisturized so you can see compared to how it was after we washed it So this is a hair after we use the Revere. It's been blown out. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to braid a hair. So you can see it has been blown out and stuff. So she has very nice thick hair. Lovely, lovely thick hair. So now um, what we're going to do is, do you want me to trim or not trim? How many inches? How many inches? <laughs> She's like, how many inches are you gonna trim? Hmm. Okay, you know what? It Next time. Like one inch. No, when you go to your own salon, <laughs> you let them trim your hair because your mommy didn't say I should trim your hair. It's like you come to auntie, auntie just cut all my hair <laughs> off. Auntie says she's doing a trim. I don't want to be a bad auntie, I want to be a good auntie. But yeah. good auntie is saying you need a trim. <laughs> Anywho, okay, so now, we're going to start with the styling of the hair. We're going to just do simple comb roll going all the way back. And to do that, I'm going to start with this side of our hair. So starting with this side, let me see if I can. Whenever I do um, all back styles, I always like starting with this side. So the product I'm going to use for our hair when I'm doing this, I'm going to use the Kibe hair grease and that doesn't contain water so it's not going to revert our hair back but it does have beads in it which adds um i believe this one is the one that has beads it has Kibe other stuff anyway castor oil good for hair growth retention so what you're gonna do is we're gonna, gonna take let me wear my glasses so that i can see what i'm doing right Okay, I'm just going to start from this side. Okay. I can see how clean a scalp is. A scalp is very, very clean. And that is very important if you're trying to get healthy hair. You want to start off with clean scalp. Make sure you're cleaning your scalp. Make sure you're washing your scalp to get that healthy, clean scalp. I'm not going to put any gel in our hair. Um, there's no need because she's just gonna wear a wig over this, but I'm gonna take some of the grease This is what it looks like. I'm gonna use that for our scalp and for our hair Just put it and this is a natural hair grease. It doesn't contain Bad ingredients. It's just a natural hair grease That is healthy for the scalp and stuff So that's the tank right here and then we'll start corn rolling. And if you don't know how to corn roll, I have a ton of tutorial. Let me know. This is my first time doing our hair. <laughs> I'm quite excited. <laughs> so let me know if it hurts, okay? Yeah. My hand is not hard, but still. I have a very sensitive scalp. Huh? I have a very sensitive scalp. You're a sensitive scalp? You're not as sensitive as Tolani. My youngest daughter, oh my God. She doesn't let me do, she doesn't like me to be doing her hair anymore. <laughs> So you're not as sensitive as your cousin. So um, 
yeah so I like this comb because this comb also has this section thing that works really really well and as I'm doing her hair I'm assessing her hair I'm assessing her scalp I do see a patch of dryness right at the back over there but it's okay it's okay do you feel any pain right there Okay, so I'm just going to start coming like that. So just taking it easy. And when you're coming, if you can roll a small section at a time, it makes the con roll last longer than if you can roll big sections at a time. If you notice, when I can roll, I didn't pull on our edges. Because you don't want to break the edges. You want the edges to be healthy. So I'm not going to pull on the edges and mess up with the edges. So. So that is what we're doing. Okay. Okay. And one thing I do is I don't like braiding the ends I like twisting up the ends because when it's time to take it down it makes it so much easier <laughs> you struggle when you take down your hair yeah uh-huh so the very ends of it I'm gonna take some more hair grease and put it to the very ends of it to lock in that moisture so let me zoom this more so that you all can see what I'm doing so all you do is to do all back hairstyle you're just going to take the hair you see how much you want how big you want the sections to be just take it and i'm curving it like that just curving it down and when you curve it down when you get to the nape area make sure you're not taking as much you don't want it to be too big because the nape area doesn't need that much hair and so that you have enough hair to work with when you are um, when you are doing the all back style I'm just gonna pack this up so it doesn't revert get my grease put the hair grease on there it's a natural hair grease mm -hmm. And I'm going to use this use it to cut it more, just to make it a little bit neater. So some people will use gel in this time. Have you seen people do that? Yeah. Like take gel. So let's say you are somebody that you want to, this is when you now take gel and use gel. But you really don't have to. Can just use hair grease depending on how you're gonna if you're gonna wear a style out then but for you I don't really need to do all this I just I'm just doing it for sure okay I'll get more of the hair grease I just dropped uh -huh. just put it for shine tangling the hair thank you please don't forget to put Click on the star button. Now I'm taking the hair. You can see this is uh, edges. I'm not messing with it because I don't want our edges to break. I'm still going to treat our edges after we're done with this. And then I just start coloring. Taking it at a time, small at a time. And I'm being very gentle. I'm not pulling too much on the edges. Let's keep on going. And braid it to the back. Now, one thing is this sometimes you see you have tension at the back. So what I do is that sometimes I'll create a section at the back and just 
twist up the sections at the back to re reduce tension. If I see she has a ton of breakage at the back of her hair, I'll do that. Um, because today, I'm not gonna do that today. I'm just gonna braid the traditional way of braiding, okay? So, you can see. We're not messing with our edges. Please, please be gentle with the edges. You don't want the edges to break. So be gentle with the edges, okay? Sorry. So what classes do you have the classes already um it's the same each year oh your classes are the same each year yeah but we get find out the teachers on the first day oh so what classes are you taking um maths english language english literature mm -hmm. geography french russian and computer science oh okay yeah. my kids take different classes like i know my oldest daughter is taking like philosophy or whatever so, huh. So do you guys take economics and stuff? Uh, those sort of lessons aren't available until uh, year 12 and 13, so grade. What year are you going to? I'm going into year 11. Year 11, okay. So they're not available for the last two years of high school. Oh, okay. Hmm. Interesting. It's always so nice, interesting seeing different schools. You know, like I don't know British system, but when I was in Nigeria, I know we had um, senior secondary high school, GS1, yeah. junior secondary, you know, so. It's quite similar to the It's quite similar? Yeah. Okay. And I know we always took the same class. We didn't have classes, like the classes my daughters take now, I'm like, ugh, never heard that class before, like business, admin, and all that stuff. That's like college classes, yeah. names, you know, and stuff. So that's what I would call that. Okay, so just to let you know, you do have dry patches like in this area. Okay. So whenever you moisturize your hair, just your scalp, make sure that you just add more moisture to that area. Yeah. Okay, so be mindful of that. Yeah. Okay. Okay, just adding some of the butter to that. Okay. I mean, I said butter, hair yeah, grease to that. Okay. If you're planning to weigh your hair out, but you're not. So, so just gonna put some hair grease right there. And you see how I'm, you guys say I'm not picking on our edges. I'm not gonna do that. Some people will start like right here. You see the tension? This is why you don't pick on the edges. You see that bump? You see the bump is right there. So you don't pick on the edges unless you're gonna lose your edges. So you start a ways away from the edges and just start braiding because you don't want to lose your edges just because you have combo in. You can always put moisturizer and brush your edges to make it look a little bit neat. Just tie down the scarf. You don't have to brush it, just put a moisturizer and just tie down the scarf. And if you wanna wear your hair out, you're good. And your edges will grow i would just suggest um spraying your edges with some liquid like water and then adding jamaican black castor oil it's gonna help your edges grow thicken up and it's gonna up all the moisture that the water or the liquid spray like remember i put some liquid spray on your hair yeah mm -hmm. so adding the an heavier oil will up all down the moisture and help you grow your edges healthy okay so if anybody's doing your hair and you're trying to snatch your edges tell them ah oh, no 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 please <laughs> let it be we don't have to gr grip everything yeah and i get my braids done and start right as well. oh they grip it yeah oh tell them not to because that's gonna break it see your edges are coming back you see yeah so if you're getting your braids done for back to school and yeah. they start that's the, if they say oh, it's not going to look nice 
It's not going to look fine. It's going to look rough. Say thank you. <laughs> thank you. I want my edges. I don't want to be searching for my edges everywhere because your edges, I can see that it broke off. Yeah. And it's growing now. And you're doing a good job growing it. So imagine wasting all that work, good work. And um, you having to regrow your edges. Okay? You don't want that at all. So the cool, the thing about braiding hair all back is to try and get it the same measurement each time. It can be a bit tricky, but the more you do it, the more you get an idea that, okay, I need to add more hair or I need to add fewer hair. Okay. So I'm just going to show you guys what I'm doing at the back. So, yeah, okay. So I'm making sure I'm putting the cream, the hair grease to, and this hair grease is very good for the scalp. It helps keep your scalp healthy. That's why I like it. It's healthy. Kibe is from, it's not Chad. Uh, what country? It skipped my mind. I think it starts with S. I skipped my mind. It's another yeah. app. It's not Senegal. It's from another African country. Read this thing. It's for it's read the information. It's from another African country. Um, I forgot the name. It's at the tip of my tongue. <laughs> but read read what it says. Formulated to the Asian Ethiopian. Asian, yeah. It's it's Ethiopian. Yes, it's Ethiopian, not S. <laughs> Ethiopian. So. Kibe is from Ethiopian and it helps promote healthy hair growth and repair scalp condition. So the scalp issue that she's having over here, especially if you're someone that you have eczema, dry scalp, this helps with your dry scalp and scalp issues. Mm. So um, so I'm glad that I'm using it for her, for her because it's gonna really make a difference. Okay. It's gonna really make a difference when she's doing her hair. So I'm just gonna, and I'm adding it to her hair just to lock in moisture for our hair and also bring shine. Okay. So our hair is already detangled. If you notice, I'm not over manipulating our hair where I'm just adding, you know, like combing it, combing it, combing it. I'm not. So I'm taking it very easy um, doing our hair and stuff. So, okay. So we're going to do one more. We're going to end it right there because and my back hurts. <laughs> and we usually do this on the couch. I usually, when I'm doing my kids there, we'll do it on the couch. But you guys get the idea of what we're doing. And it's just pretty much to do the whole thing like that. I'll post a picture once we're finished. I'll post a picture showing what I did. So now at least if she wants to wear a wig or she wants to wear a ball cap or face cap, whatever they call it, she can do that. Or she can even crochet on top of this. Mm -hmm. So this is something that I do with my daughter. Like I'll do cornrows like this. She'll wear it for like two weeks. Then we'll do crochet. She'll wear that for another two weeks. That's a month. And she's good to go. So, yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. Does it hurt? No. Okay. See, your auntie doesn't have hard hand. <laughs> so... So you can wear this for a month. After that, wash your hair, put your hair in braids, you know, let it rest for a few days or a week. Yeah. And then you can put it in braids and you're ready for school and stuff. So, yeah. But I just want to say thank you everyone for joining. So this is how you do all back. You just repeat the same thing again and again on all the hair. And you see how it looks. So thank you everyone, I appreciate you. I wanna say thank you to my model. So we will see you guys later and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Take care, bye. Bye. Take care guys, bye.